DTLT today. Okay. Hey. Hi, this is DTLT today. I'm Andy Rush. I'm Jim Groom. Welcome. Now, I am using Timmy's little Korg nano controller to, uh, to do this, so I'm, I'm going to try not to be too distracted during the show. But, uh, He's basically saying that he wants me to carry the show, <laughs> which is not a problem for me. <laughs> I've been carrying DTLT on my back for how many years now? Um, well, how long you been here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, what we wanted to talk about today is not about Jim. Um, oh, Jesus. But, but I we hated this episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, we want to talk about um, our little media empire. Yeah, or some might say collective. I mean, the more probably... For the hippies out there. <laughs> For the hippies out there, <laughs> we'll might be called the media collective. Um, we we kind of want to talk about where we are, where we want to go, I guess. Absolutely. Is that fair to say? Um, and I'm going to just kind of do my best to, to use this switcher. This is my first time using this, and I have to give a lot of credit to Tim, even though he isn't here, and I really shouldn't be giving him credit. Because no, we really he's not here. We should be taking advantage of him being gone and saying, like, him not being here, he's dead to us. Yeah, he's been on a lot of episodes. Yeah. He's been dominating DTLT today. Right. So now Jim and I are going to take over. We're going to take the media empire where we think it should be and not where Timmy thinks it no. wants to go. I, mean, I think thinks... for too long it's been following down the Owens road. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're tired of the Owens way. And we're, we're tired of his little crybaby case. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna go with the Rush Groom way. Yeah, and maybe, exactly. the, maybe a little bit of Burtis. Which is a freeway. No, Burtis isn't here either. Owens, we're awful. done. We're done with Owens. Owens and Burtis. Sure, why not? Yeah, Burtis isn't here. Yeah, what has Burtis done for us lately? Exactly. She did her little show yesterday, but she's not here today. I know, she ran out. First <laughs> dance, bam, out the door. Exactly. So, our media empire. Well, what does our media empire start with? But Of course. UMW Blogs. UMW Blogs. And one time, uh, Alan Levine, I don't know if you know him, uh, you know, he's kind of important on the internet, kind of a big deal on the internet. Sure, I heard that. Yeah. Um, well, he basically... He once said, when I said, you know, how can you forget WordPress as a tool? And he said, well, WordPress is a tool. But more when he was talking about tools in his PLN, he said, WordPress is kind of like the oxygen, the ether. It's mm -hmm. just like where everything happens. And right. so we've been pretty successful. We're going to get our 7,000 7, user on UMD Blogs this week. We've been successful. We've created a really rich publishing platform where people can publish video, images, audio, very easily have their own space and we can aggregate it into kind of spaces and our whole website will be going that route right. soon, which right. is really cool. Right. And so, yeah. No, I was just going to say, I was talking with somebody this morning about, um, you know, another new person coming in and kind of trying to figure out what we do and, and what we can offer and, again, talking about WordPress as it exists now on UMW Blogs but also our main website and the departments going to, to WordPress. Yeah, and so we're talking to her about, well, start using WordPress and get comfortable with it. Then when we switch around October time frame, um, we'll be completely using WordPress on this campus to, to publish, you know, to have that rich, rich publishing platform That's right. um, that we've always been looking for. And she wants to do things like, um, you know, podcasts and videos. And, and I said, um, right now we're using... Um, this kind of system that has contribute, uh, Macromedia's contribute as the front end. Um, it was great back in the day, but, but its day was 2002. Yeah, um, that's right. It, not, not 2011. Yeah, so. we have, we've been late and we've been using it for nine years longer than its day. It, exactly. So, um, you know, it, again, it starts with, uh, with, with UMW Blogs, and it, if you've visited it recently um, or if you haven't, you, you may have noticed that uh, we've got a nice new... Redesign. Redesign. That's right. Um, we do have I got to do some new t posts up there. Yeah, we, we do have to give somebody who's not here, or two, a couple people who aren't here, some credit. Unfortunately, For yeah. the redesign. Again. Martha Burtis and Tim Owens. <laughs> Martha Burtis led the project, and yeah. Tim Owens kind of helped her fine tune a couple of things. But yeah, they did. They did a great job. Yeah, and I think, I think, it, I think it looks great. Um, it, we're we're going to, again, kind of show the. Um, the, the mind of the university and that sort of thing. Also, so. the recent posts widget for any of you WordPress folks who are interested out there is actually something that Martha and Boone Gorgas right. came together That's on. That's right. Thanks, and Boone. Thank you, Boone. So that was something, and it's not actually hitting the database 
like our old one did very hard. Yeah. It's actually just reproducing a series of posts um, or a ghost of them. So it's a lot easier on our site. And we've had no problems. At the beginning of the semester, we have a lot of people on Unity Blogs. So far, so good. I'm knocking, uh, on, wood. Yeah, I'm knocking on wood. So um, it starts with Unity Blogs. We have a publishing platform. It's going to be on Unity Blogs, but it's going to be whole UNW.edu. We're, we're going to be a WordPress school through and through. Yep. That's it. So we have that as a basis. That's publishing, writing, right? But then it moves us to kind of fast forward. Let's go back to about January 2011. Mm -hmm. And what do we have? What kind of came? Ah, DS106 Radio. Grant Potter kind of, based on a whole series of events with a class we were teaching called Digital Storytelling or DS106, Grant Potter put together a basically internet radio station that was using um, IceCast servers, mm -hmm. and the way he framed it now, and this is kind of a new development we're going to have a DTLT today show on, the basic idea is that this is a free and open radio station <laughs> that we at the University of Mary Washington now should need to find a way to integrate into classes, into the stuff we do. Exactly. Right? So DS-106 Radio was really for us, I think, or at least for me, was like the kind of light bulb lit up and like, wow, why are we not doing this? Right. We've been so focused on new and big blogs and WordPress, which is great, but then here's this whole other medium, radio. And how can we frame classes around radio projects or even just use it as a way to get the word out sure. around campus? And from there, and, and, not to, and, and really not to give the, the DS-106 radio short shrift because that was an exciting, as you say, light bulb that, that yeah. went off. Huge. And And I think... And still People is. did their radio shows, and, and, and it's still going. It's, this, it's not like it's extinct. But it fits nicely into our media empire, doesn't it? It does, because, you know, and also, just to give a, another shout-out to Grant Potter before we go on to our next thing is... Grant, Grant is Grant also is amazing, <laughs> and he came up with this exchange server, which does voice over IP on DS-106 radio, which is our model right now, and basically will allow 20 people to consecutively talk on a radio, like a conference call, but they can call from any device. It's free, and he's even working on getting a 1-800 number from a payphone or wherever. Brilliant. So think about that. I mean, that, that just kind of cuts out technology altogether and just gives you a space to collaborate in the ether. And so DS-106 Radio, enough great things can't be said about how that helped us in the last year. Right. Really reimagine where we're going as a group. Exactly. And then, as we talked about DS-106 Radio, we said, well, hey, why not a TV station? That's right. So then we had DS-106 TV. Uh, a little point, one of our members of the group, Tim Owens, used to actually take care of this site when DS-106 TV <laughs> was important to him. Right. But obviously it's not anymore. Yeah. So he's left it with the kind of default theme. And This is the state of DS-106 TV right now. Tim kind of has those, those he, blinders. He gets that, tunnel vision. You know, he does one of these, and it's like I'm, I'm moving forward with... What Meanwhile, I want to work on. 25 episodes of the Summer of Oblivion and yeah. all of us doing our thing are on DS-106 TV, but I guess that's kind of like cat food now. Right. Well, though in fairness, when, behind the house. when he came here, we did kind of say, we want you to work on the things that excite you. That was a big mistake, apparently. <laughs> he took it literally. <laughs> yeah. and Who would have thought? He, I guess he hated DS-106 TV, despite the fact that DS-106 TV was the next step. And I'm not going to say evolution because it's not like we left radio to go to DS-106 TV. I think right. it was the next arm of our empire exactly. or collective. Exactly. And DS-106 TV was interesting because we first started playing with this with Justin TV. Right. Right. He would, we, anyone from a cell phone that had the app or from with a computer that had a, had a camera could kind of project on and put their video as opposed to their audio. Mm -hmm. Problem with DS-106 TV was, and with most video is, it's so ad heavy. Right? right, you got the ads. Right. Here's your thirty-second ad. Buy cat food. Buy my, you know, laundry detergent. Whatever. <laughs> right, and no one wants to sit through it. You feel scummy making people sit through it. Yes. Um, so we and and kind of as a side story, um, the the college relations department, and, and we also we need to give credit to Kathy Derricky um, and college relations for uh, we're still using their system. Um, we're still in the testing phase, right? Absolutely. We'll call it the testing phase. Yeah, this is still a pilot. <clears throat> We're almost done with their stuff, but, but we need a little longer. Um, but, but again, College Relations has been, has been great. They, they've used it for um, their events, their live events. The kit that we put together was designed to go anywhere, to do any event, to live stream. And we purchased yeah. a 
professional Ustream account, which is known as Watershed. Um, and so we wanted to uh, use the kit along with that to, to get rid of the ads. That's the right. problem with that is that you, you, you get a certain number of what they call viewer hours per month. So we can't constantly broadcast with that setup. So we've been looking at different things and, and you know, seriously enter Tim Owens. Who's, Again, who's done he's some, just been insane. He's done some great work just kind of researching this. We've gone from Justin TV and Ustream um, to this kind of hybrid, I, I guess, but with no ads on Amazon's uh, cloud E3. service. Yep. Um, and now we're, that's how we're kind of streaming things as of today. And there's, there are some, some issues, I guess, with integration with the kit because it's nice to have um, the Wirecast software integrates nice, nicely with Justin TV and Ustream and Livestream and some of the other services. So um, it's, not as, it's not as, you know, out of the box easy to use like we wanted the kit to be, um, but I, th I think we can get there. And, and it's, it's, once you set it up, we're, we're off and running. Well, he was talking today before he left um, is he's using this application called Wowzer. Wowza. Wowza. Yep. Which basically we're running on it. We're running. He's running on Amazon EC3 but or E3. We're going to be running on the media server here. And that means that we can actually at, install it on the media server and actually run our video without ads. And he just found an application where we can actually run video straight from iPhones or Androids to that application as well that we can actually video, go out and do our field reports or whatever, exactly. straight to a media server that can stream live. That's awesome. Yep. And that's really, the TV stuff right now has us excited. We play with it with the Summer of Oblivion. We've got now, yeah, exactly. DTLT today. Major kudos to Tim Owens yep. for putting this together and really doing it regularly, letting us do it, just being cool about it. But, I mean, look at DTLT today. It's apparent why it hasn't been playing with DS-106 TV, because DTLT today is a model site. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good looking. He's gone through a couple of different iterations. Um, Absolutely. But he's got it set up where, you know, the videos play in, in line, um, and then several of the, the thumbnails of, of previous episodes are down below. Um, obviously, from here you can go to the live channel. Um, he's even got cast listings where you can go and you can, I'm sure this is probably the first place that you would want to go other than dtlttoday.com, is to go to the cast members and see how many times Andy Rush has appeared in a, in a given episode. Um, and, and that's one of the things you I can love do that on, the, cast on, page. on the cast page. I think and, it's and again, it looks, it looks great. Um, yeah, it's check a, it it's out. A great I mean, he's idea. just been doing amazing work there. Um, oh, we lost our little chat window. So I needed to know how to, you didn't know how to get that back I don't probably. really know how to work the iPad. Um, Way better. I only than use it for porn. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was DTLT today. Um, I did want to talk a little bit about um, some of the media, and 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 I do kind of feel bad about this. I I've kind of let some of that stuff go to the wayside as I try to figure out um, how we're going to integrate all these pieces together. Um, that's right. And that's, that's what's been step. great. It's what's been great about Timmy Boy being here. Um, is is we're figuring out this out together and we're bouncing ideas back and forth off of each other and it's 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 what makes DTLT great. Yeah, I mean um, it's nice to have. I mean we could always use some other great people. Well, sure. Let's just throw that out there exactly. right now. Exactly. I mean, yeah. any we're people who are like traveling people. around, you know, yeah, they want to come, they yeah. want to work at a great place, do what they want. Right. We're we're open to, yeah. to anything. We're not going to say no. Well. Depends. Maybe you would. <laughs> I mean, if if everybody out there like takes us literally, we might have to say we can't hire all all of you. Yes, so. exactly. Um, so we, you know, there is that caveat. But to get back to the, my vision is to have like a screencast channel where we where we talk about um, interesting ways that we've we've integrated technology into classroom situations or. Um, how different interesting ways that faculty are using software hardware to to really kind of further the the, the teaching and the and the learning aspects of right. uh, of where they are. So um, the idea is to I th I think eventually just broadcast all day long um, and maybe in some way kind of have a uh, a constant cycle of of videos. There might be the reruns of the DTLT Today Show and Absolutely. that sort of thing. But we're, we're hoping for disciplinary stuff. We're hoping exactly. I mean, we're, this, is, this is nascent members. right now. Right. What we're doing now is we're getting out and we're saying to classes, you know, this week classes just started. 
you know, what kind of shows can you build into your curriculum that we can put on DS106 TV or, I'm sorry, DTLT Today or else? I mean, same with the radio stuff. Like, we're now kind of plying this like we plied UMW blogs three years ago or four right. years ago. Like, now this is what we're pushing. Right. This is what we're on to. This is our crack of the year. And it's, it's what we've always dreamed about doing and we never knew really I mean we had ideas of maybe where we could go the technology that's that's um, changed in the past few months even yeah, um, has has helped us kind of get where we want to go and and helps us see the vision a little bit better but also you've been doing unbelievable stuff with the new media cookbook I mean all that stuff is leading up to <clears> the stuff that we're doing now I mean think about DS106 and the resources you've been giving us for f not since January but since the previous January right. of 2010, where we've been doing this stuff in terms of video and audio experimentation in that class, which has been huge for thinking about ways for us to kind of teach this stuff, for let professors and right. students learn how to use it, for us to get familiar with codecs. And now I think as a group, we're a lot more and better prepared now to go to people and say, like, we can support you with this. Well, and I, and I think the best thing about this is that uh, we may have at one time thought about having like a cable TV channel that we yeah. could broadcast and then maybe students could watch it on campus. Um, it might be picked up by the Fredericksburg cable system or something like that. Yeah. But really this is the, the, we've gone in a better direction and that is to tie it all in, in with the web. Yeah. To have it all integrated, to have UMW blogs as, as the place where any of these pieces of media can be repurposed right. um, and, and have it all delivered through the internet um, so that anybody anywhere can take advantage, you know, this is our, this is our piece that we share. Um, we we want to make sure that, that people know what we're doing. We want to find out how people are using some of the same technologies that we have um, in better ways or in other ways. Absolutely. Um, and we, you know, we kind of run into this constantly when we talk to people at conferences about um, about doing this, and, and the same thing happened at the NMC conference back in June. Um, people are using Wirecast, and um, they may not, they may get some little different tweaks of, of, or tips or whatever that, that we've done things differently, but uh, you know, we're all about sharing and, and trying to figure out how to make this stuff work really well. And the main thing too is, and this is interesting, is a lot of times when you think about the video and the promotion and all that stuff, you also think about like university relations. You know, about getting your big names and your big ideas out there so that people see it and want to go to your school. Mm -hmm. And that's fine and all good, but we don't want to do that necessarily. We want to bring this back into the actual process of teaching and learning, the actual courses. Like, we want this stuff in the class. We want this stuff like we do it. Like, this is like, you know, fly on the wall. This is what's happening. Yes. This isn't your polished afterthought of here's our brochure. And we want to bring video and audio, and hopefully that will be even more disruptive because yeah. you start thinking about, you start bringing video and audio into the class and start capturing stuff. You really put people on the spot, and, you know, you really even make that classroom that we've talked about as being open and transformative and, mm -hmm. you know, in some ways, how do you call that, you know, uh, fluid, but I'm looking for a... Osmotic, but oh, that's good. I like. I kind of like that. Os well, anyway, like those like, porous, like the membr like the porous, membranes, the, membr the, per like the permeability some of sort the membranes. Of interpenetration. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I was afraid <laughs> we're probably we're probably <laughs> about a time right now. But so. either way, I mean, <clears throat> this kind of porous sense. So we'll sure. bring the video and radio in there, and you know, like blow the doors off this stuff. Now it's about time. And I'm not saying it's not happening. It is happening. Mm -hmm. But I don't think enough people are talking about where it's happening and how it's happening. I'd love to get that conversation. Right. And, and I, think, I think the ability to, to do this stuff immediately, you know, to have, to have this serendipitous moment somewhere out on campus and just say, hey, we can be there in, in yes. half an hour um, with us, all set up. Or you, know? you can, st all the better is you can stream that event from your iPhone sure. to the DTLT yep. media server. Like, how about that? Yeah, Tim like, just telling me about this new application screw it. that will like, do it. We're not going to be so. at the head of it. Right. We're going to say to everyone out there, you got an application, you got a phone, you got a computer, great. Feed it in. And there's going to have to be some ways so that we don't get into like crazy, like you're feeding <laughs> something that maybe shouldn't right. be fed. Right. But like, you know, we'll figure that out. And there's going to be some mistakes. Sure. But that's what an empire means. Right. You know, when we create our empire, the thing is now we've got to get ad money. 
Right. We'll, we'll make mistakes, but we'll make other people pay. We've got to give ourselves that raise that we haven't got for five years. Exactly. Yeah. And we won't let it go until they give us the raise. No, we won't. So and we'll our, have video on it's our It's our empire. And we'll expose them. I think we're pretty much done. I think that's it. We'll probably revisit this. And, and I, I mean, this has been similar to some other talks that we've had about, you know, the, what equipment that we're using. But we, do, we did want to kind of give an overall general picture. Um, of, of where yeah. our ideas are, but, but we also would love feedback in terms of um, what people would like to see, um, what, what would make up a, a yeah. good teaching and learning empire yeah. in terms of media. How would you use this stuff in the class? Sure. I mean, we don't know yet. This is really what we're pushing this year, and it's a vision that it's not just the tools. We do have a vision for using it for the jobs we do here. Okay. Um, one, one note that I do want to leave on is I'm looking at the chat. You, fo you people are not chat pawns. Um, we, are, we're, we are trying to, we're, we're, I'm, I've got lots of controls here that I need to keep track of. So one, the chat I didn't necessarily keep Listen, up on. Listen, chat amongst yourselves. But uh, no, yeah. we, we love all you people. Cog <laughs> Dog, Todd Conaway, um, I don't know who Porky Pig is. Michael, uh, Michael Branson, Branson Smith is there, out there. Who I'll be um, in touch with. All you guys out there make this what it is yeah, and, but I and hope you you're not depending great. upon us to like give you like positive reinforcement no because we're about done we're about we're yeah. shot i mean come on you, you guys need to pick up get, pick you up done the ball to me lately? and run with it so i think we're about done i think we're almost done <laughs> thanks for watching everybody dtlt today appreciate it uh-oh you can't not We need the outro. All right, we're looking for the outro. We're Hang on. We're not done yet. We're we not done yet. We have to have an outro. We can't end the show without the outro. Otherwise, Timmy Boy will call us amateurs. Oh. I'm on the cuddle couch alone. I can even do Thank you.